President Biden has tested positive for COVID again. Uh, after last testing negative yesterday, an antigen test came back positive this morning. The president's doctor says Mr. Biden is experiencing a rebound from Paxlovid, uh, the medication he had been taking uh, to recover from uh, COVID the first time around. Uh, the president tweeted today, folks, today I tested positive for COVID again. This happens with a small minority of folks. I've got no symptoms, but I'm going to isolate for the safety of everyone around me. I'm still at work and will be back on the road soon. And with me now is Dr. Peter Hotez, Dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at uh, Baylor College of Medicine. Uh, Dr. Hotez, great to see you again. I haven't seen you in a long time, but good to catch up. Um, what do you make of this? Should, should we uh, be uh, you know, tremendously concerned about this? The White House says that the president is not experiencing uh, any symptoms. You do hear about these uh, rebounds, these Paxlovid rebounds from time to time. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? So, Jim, you know, I think it's probably more common than than we currently understand. You know, in the clinical trials for Paxlovid, which were done before the Omicron uh, variants or certainly the later subvariants, it would happen about one to two percent of the time. But anecdotally, we're hearing about many more cases. And quite honestly, uh, a rebound uh, after Paxlovid happened to me. It happened to Tony Fauci, Dr. Fauci. Um, and so it wasn't too surprising uh, that um, this happened. In fact, a couple of days ago, I warned, don't be too disappointed if it also happens to the president. Exactly the percentage of people who are experiencing post-Paxlovid rebound, I hear the number 20%. I don't know how valid that is, but it's certainly higher, I think, than the, the that was done in the original clinical trials. And I think it may be partly due to these sub, new subvariants. There's a lot more virus replication and so there's more virus to conquer by taking the antiviral drug. And there's a new study that the uh, University of California, San Diego uh, infectious disease groups looking at. They're showing it's not due to emerging drug resistance. The virus is still sensitive to uh, the Paxlovid when rebound occurs. There are antibodies present. I think it's a matter of exposure to the medicine, that there's not enough medicine getting inside the cells. Um, over a five-day course to totally uh, wipe out all of the virus. So the question then becomes, should we extend it to seven to 10 days? Um, Eric Topol at the Scripps Institute is now looking at this. He has NIH funding to, to look at this. So we'll learn a lot more. Yeah. I think the questions right now, I think the president uh, hopefully will continue to do well. There's a question whether he should go back on another uh, course of Paxlovid. And so there'll be a lot of interesting discussions in the ensuing days.